Welcome to Deep Thought. Reality is hard to face. And you know what? I was thinking about that because as I continually say, I'm not a guru. I'm still going through some stuff too. Maybe not as much as last year or even a year before. Because, um, you know, because one of the things I keep facing constantly is any false belief that I've had or anything I've tried to ignore. And, you know, and you'll see stuff. See, the thing is, you'll see stuff. Now, I ain't going to say what it is exactly. I ain't going to say what it is, but it's something I've seen for years but try to ignore it because of the implications, not even for myself, really. Heck, it's a particular reality I benefit from. <laughs> I'm like, shit. I'm like, I'm like, shoot, this this has been like one of the best days for me. But there's a part of me, especially being an Aquarius, that cares about other people. I really do. It might not seem like that sometime. And I know I probably had some detractors or something. Or some people I blocked and he's like, oh, Ron, this or that. But at the end of the day, I really do care about people. And even the detractors, they come at me a certain way with some respect or apology or something. I'm quick to forgive. All right? And reason I'm saying that is I do care about other people just overall I I really do in the sense that I want to see everybody really succeed but there were some things I would see and I was like damn I'm benefiting from but they ain't benefiting from it so I was like I tried to ignore how I was benefiting from it you know because it was just like damn you feel bad you know it's that empathy thing you know, you feel something in your heart. You're like, man, I feel bad for this person. And you see it. Now, there's some things you see and, you know, you can deal with the reality of it, but it's tough. And then, you know, once you start, you start looking for ways around it, right? And sometimes you really, and this is most of it, you start lying about it, right? You start lying, and it's not lying to other people. That's the thing with it. That's the thing about it. You ain't even lying to other people because a lot of times they seeing the same false reality or the same false beliefs as you. Because one thing, I mean, let me go. Y'all know how I do on this channel. I just got just flow with it. I just I just go with the flow. It's always stream of consciousness on this thing. But usually if you have a false belief, you hang around other people that got the same false belief to the point where you think it is truth. But if you get another set of people who don't have your particular self-belief or your group's particular self-belief, they see something different. That's why it's hard for people like in discussions to really see something because they're looking at it two different ways. And then you thinking it's right because all these other people coming in agreeing with you. It's like, nah, it's still tough. And it's still tough anyway because, you know, I'm going to tell you how deep it is. Because what happens is this. You have a lot of people... You have a certain truth going on. But see, people, every single person goes into it, into every situation with their own perspective, right? Their own view of how it happened. And they're going into it with their egos. And the egos is always, the ego will always protect you. That's the whole point of a person's ego. That is the whole point of a person's ego to protect them. And it will lie to you. And like you telling everybody the truth, you think you're telling, but your ego telling you something else. So that ego, to put it to the side, is hard. Or at least for those moments, because the ego does serve a purpose. The purpose of the ego really is to protect your psyche. And there's nothing wrong with it, but sometimes it protects it to the point it's like, man, your ego sees something. It's like, damn, that's some jacked up thing, but, you know. This will hurt this, will hurt this dude right here if he see the reality of it. Or he see the truth or he acknowledge the truth. You know? So I'm I'm gonna say something else. Right? Like I give you an example, right? I gave I remember as a young woman. She was dealing with she was dealing with the she was dealing with the thug. Now people who follow me on my main channel know I always say that whole Pookie and Ray Ray thug thing is overrated. I just say they're overrated. I never said it doesn't happen. <laughs> I just said it don't happen to the extent people think it happened. But it still does happen. So I was telling her some stuff, and I was just I was breaking down some real game to her. 
like some serious game and I noticed her reaction right I noticed her reaction it was stopping her I mean it was like it was doing something physically to her and then when she came back the next day you know she she kind of told me some stuff and said well you're wrong and all of that not yell but you know she had a whole bunch of criteria and I saw that why she was even doing that and I said yeah okay I could be I said it like that and kind of like changed the subject and she ain't approaching it anymore. But it was tough for her to face a reality and honestly, this particular reality was causing her some uh, unnecessary pain. It caused her some stuff. So, um, you know, so it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard to face the reality of something. And I'll use another example uh, from my books. Like my books, night. I remember my book, Nice Guys and Plays, had been out. I remember somebody contacted me, said, "You know, I just realized I'm a nice guy just from reading your stuff." And I, I'm not gonna lie, it broke my heart the way he worded it, and I was just like, "Wow!" And it just made me like, boom. I was like, man. That's why even now people don't realize a lot of times when I'm talking, they might think or some I say might cause some controversy. I'm like, people don't know how much I sugarcoat some stuff. I really do. They'll say I'm being honest and I try, but I try to like, it's kind of like giving you some castor oil, some bad medicine, but, you know, putting some honey in it with it. <laughs> That's all it is. Because I remember the times I just be straight up blunt and it'd be causing somebody some stuff. I remember like one young lady I dealt with, right? She had an idea of how I approached her and stuff, and I told her the real situation. And I remember she was in my apartment. She was actually, she actually fell back against the wall and kind of fell to the floor. I'll never forget how she did that. And I was like, wow. Because the thing is with reality or what we think or what our ego is, that affects us to the point where it affects how we move. It affects our systems. On an extreme level, it could give us a heart attack or a stroke. That's how deep it is, or some brain, something, some pain, some, it'll cause some pain or something because, you know, on a deep level, how we feel is, is, is very much connected to our psyche. Now, if our psyche is bad, our emotions is bad, that reflects in, like, how we feel. That can actually cause sickness. I would even say if someone is sick, yeah, of course, go to the doctor, get the medicine and everything, but also see what's going on with you emotionally. Check it. Always check that out. Always, if you got some cold, something happened, you feeling some pain, always check that out. You know, always, always see. Okay, try to find out. Now, this ain't to say it's uh, always going to every single instance going to be emotional, but it has a strong connection, or even how you deal with it. So you know, and you know that's connecting back to the reality. You know, we, you know, we, we, we get, if reality's put in our face, we can't lie about it, everything, it can mess us up. It can mess us up. Now, when I say it bring that around to me, it's, it's tough. No, I don't think there's anyone on this planet, maybe some true guru on top of a mountain that's meditated for 40 years or something. They can see reality totally what it is but shit if you're a human being you still gonna have some ego in there you still gonna see it from your point of view no matter what you know it's like uh it's like if uh you get a couple married couple or a couple in a relationship and they arguing about something and they give somebody their story and the person they're giving the story to is neutral to both of them and say, well, no, you said this, you said this, but this is what I saw with both of you. And since it didn't have anything to do with that person, their ego isn't involved. They're just reporting on something. They're not connected. they giving something honest about it. And they'll say something. The story would be, like, totally different. As, as was said, you know, the truth always has three sides. Your side, their side, and the actual truth. So it, reality is hard to face. It is. It's, it's difficult. It can actually cause pain and everything. But um, my next uh, podcast, I'm going to talk about how to deal with that. So anything on what you have to do to face it. So anyway, that's all I have for now. Peace and blessings, everyone.